Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and today I'm going to be talking about Tesla. So the Q1 2024 earnings call from Tesla has just wrapped up a day ago and there's a lot to unwrap there. Um, it was a long call with quite a lot of information snippets about the future. I'm going to do another video focusing on the analysis of what's going on there. But uh, this video is going to be specifically about ride hailing app. Uh, that's something that was actually hinted by Elon in the call um, and he, they basically dropped even some visualizations of how this app should be looking like and it looks really impressive it looks like uh, Tesla is basically aiming to to take some jabs at uh, Uber but also at uh, potentially Bolt or something like that but they were also talking about Airbnb um, I will I will play the recording of Elon himself going through what this this app is gonna allow users to do. But basically, just to sum it up, they're aiming to produce a ton of tons of cars, potentially tens of millions of cars, um, and a lot of them will be actually in Tesla fleet to to do the ride hailing, right? So they will be the the Ubers of the future. But the, the end users will also be able to actually kind of put their uh, put their cars to work and let them you know gain some money uh, with that actually Tesla has also decided to drop the price from uh, for the self-driving to eight thousand uh, dollars which is significantly cheaper than it used to be and also the monthly costs are now cheaper um, and yeah basically they were talking about uh, about a lot of things that is related to the current hardware that they are using but everybody as of the hardware too should be able to do full self, full self driving in the future and Tesla is very confident that with the FSD 12.0 they they struck uh, struck the court and uh, hopefully will be able to save the autonomy uh, to solve the autonomy very very soon so let me know what you think in the comments now let's take a listen to what uh, Elon had to say about this ride hailing app. And I, I, something I should clarify is that Tesla will be operating the fleet. Um, so you can think of like how Tesla, um, think of Tesla like I don't know, some combination of Airbnb and Uber, meaning that, um, you know, there'll be some number of cars that Tesla owns itself and operates in the fleet. There'll be some number of cars and then there'll be a bunch of cars where they're owned by the um, end user, but that end user can add or subtract their car to the fleet whenever they want. And they can decide if they wanna only let the car be used by friends and family or only by five-star users or by anyone. Um, and at any, at any time they could have the car come back to them and, and be exclusively theirs, like an Airbnb. You, know, you could rent out your guest room or not anytime you want. Um, so, uh, as our fleet grows, we have 7 million cars going to 9 million cars going to, you know, eventually tens of millions of cars, uh, worldwide, um, with, with, with a constant feedback loop, every time something goes wrong, that, that gets added to the training data and you get this training flywheel happening, um, in the same way that Google search has the sort of flywheel, it's very difficult to compete with Google because uh, people are constantly doing searches and clicking and, and Google's getting that feedback loop. Um, it's the same with, with Tesla, but at, at a, a scale that is um, maybe difficult to comprehend, but ultimately be tens of millions. Um, I, I think there's also some potential here for an AWS element um, down the road where if we've got very powerful inference, um, you know, because we've, we've got a hardware three in the cars, not, not, but now all cars are being made with hardware four, hardware five is pretty much designed and should be in cars, uh, hopefully towards the end of next year. Um, and there's, there's a potential to have for the, to, to run, when the car is not moving, to, to actually run distributed inference. Um, so kind of like AWS, but, but distributed inference. Like it takes a lot of computers to train uh, an AI model, but 
many orders of magnitude less compute to run it. So if, if you can imagine a future perhaps where there's a fleet of 100 million Teslas and on average they've got like maybe a kilowatt of inference compute, that's 100 gigawatts of inference compute distributed all around the world. It's pretty hard to put together 100 gigawatts of AI compute. And even in an autonomous uh, future where the, the car is perhaps used, instead of being used 10 hours a week, is used 50 hours a week, that still leaves over 100 hours a week where the car burns computer could be doing something else. And it seems like it would be a waste not to use it. So as you can hear there, the, the plans or the vision for Tesla is is huge. The Basically, they are saying that it's not only... You know, it's not only car manufacturer. Of course, they have Optimus uh, robot as well. And I'm going to be talking about that in another video. Uh, what are the plans there? But basically what they're saying is that, yeah, we're going into, you know, this other business of ride hailing. And not only that, they are actually talking about using the compute power of the cars of the future as, for example, AWS, uh, the, the Amazon uh, the Amazon um, cloud services, right? So they they want to actually go also against these kind of services. And this is going to be very interesting to watch, though we have to bear in mind that Elon, you know, is uh, very optimistic about the timelines always. Uh, he has been promising the FSD to solve self-driving uh, already for years and it's never coming, right? Like we're still unfortunately stuck somewhere in the limbo, but I believe if, uh, if a company is about to solve it, it's probably Tesla because they have billions and billions of miles driven by their fleet. And this is this is the way to go. This is how the actual neural net of these cars uh, will be trained properly. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Otherwise, of course, leave a like. Uh, I'm going to be actually analyzing the rest of the call and what's hinted there regarding Optimus and uh, basically their production scaling for Cybertruck, etc. So that's going to be coming in another video in, a, in coming days. Um, so feel free to subscribe to get the notification about that otherwise this has been Jakub Vanish and it's been a pleasure uh, thanks a lot for tuning in and take care everybody much appreciated so cheers and bye bye have a good day